Hello everybody, Waffles here, and I'm here with a tutorial on how to animate Minecraft in Cinema 4D. Okay, now this episode we're going to be talking about rigs. Now rigs is what you use to animate Minecraft objects or characters in Cinema 4D. So let's take a look at a rig that we can download. This rig is by Weed Lion, and there will be a link in the description to download this rig. So once you open the link, just scroll down until you find this rig, the Steve character rig. Um, find the free one because there is also a pay one, or you can buy the pay one if you feel like it. Now download this uh, in Mediafire. Just click on the download. and save it. Okay, now it should just take a moment. Now you can extract it or just open it with um, WinRAR. WinRAR is a program that allows you to open zip files, so or RAR file, files for that matter. So I will put a link to WinRAR in the description as well. So open it up with WinRAR and you will get this folder. Now, what you're going to do with this folder is you're going to copy it, control C, and then um, find your Cinema 4D application. For example, I have it here. Right click and click open file location. Then when you're in the Cinema 4D file location, just click plugins, or no, sorry. Just click library, browser, and then just simply drag in, or sorry, paste in the folder you just copied that was in the zip. There you go. Now just X out of that, and out of this, and out of this if you like, and then just open up Cinema 4D, and here here's Cinema 4D. Here's the layout. Now the first thing you're wanna gonna, you're gonna want to do when you're animating is change your resolution. I like to use 1280 by 720. That is in the output tab. Just X out of there. Now, if you click on Window, Content Browser, you will have a Minecraft Steve rig by a weed line in here. Now you can open up the Steve main, Steve small eyes, or Steve no face. This is for the, if you have a a skin with uh, a different mouth or eyes. So I'm gonna open up Steve's small eyes. Now here we have our Steve. You can press Alt to change your angle of view and you can move him around by just clicking and dragging. But I'm just going to look at him like this and then you can bring in a floor by just clicking up here on this tab. Bring in a floor now, if you want to make the floor color a uh, certain color, just click Create, New Material. Double click on, click on the new material, and you can change the color. I like to take untick specular because I don't like. Now, just drag your new material that you created onto the floor. What I also like to do is create another floor and then set these rotation tabs sorry not that one set the rotation of the X and Z to 90 and 90 and that'll create a new floor um, so now that you have this new floor you can drag the white onto it as well. Now you have your Steve rig with a background. 
you can open up the Steve rig by clicking on the plus next to Steve and go into bones and I like to drag the I keychain's arms out of the bones folder. Now you have I keychain feet and I keychain's arms next to each other. Now what you do is you open up both of them and you'll have right foot, right foot pull, left foot, left foot pull, and so on. Now, but if you click on right foot, you realize you can drag this and make his feet bend. Now you can do the same thing for his arms. You can drag them around, make it bend. But the the tip you are the point you are dragging will always be the end of his arm. Um, now if you want to add some lighting effects, just add a light. I like to go with an infinite light. Take your ro click the rotation tab or rotate and rotate the light so that it's facing the character. If you see this white line here, that is where the light is facing. So I rotate it towards the character and down a little bit, so you get light everywhere. Then you can go into light and click on the shadows tab and add shadows retraced hard. I you can add retrace you can add shadow maps, which is soft, but they are a bit glitchy for my Cinema 4D, and I'm using Cinema 4D Art 14, by the way. Okay, now go into this tab, Edit Render Settings, again, this is where you change the resolution. Click on Effect, and add the top one, which is Ambient Occlusion. Now click on Effect, and add some Global Illumination. Go to the Sampling tab in Global Illum Illumination and change it to Low. Samples, Low. Record Density, Low. Okay. Now, if you render this out, it looks very nice, very polished, nice soft corners. Um, now, you can zoom in by just scrolling. Um, we can, we are going to look at face expressions, so, you can go to, to, if you just click on your Steve, then you realize here, you can change his face and other things as well. So if you click on helmet, he has a helmet, chest plate, chest plate, leggings, and so on. His scale. Change how. Just change his scale, I guess. You can change his hair color, his skin color, and his eye color. You can make his eyes green, for example. There you go. Green eyes, that looks kind of creepy. Sorry for that. Um, blue, 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 blue. Okay, there we go. Oh gosh, that looks even worse. Um, you can change his pupil size. Oh gosh. Okay, no, back to normal. Um, Change his eyebrow rotation. Make him look really angry. Wow, that's kind of creepy. Um, you can change the position of the eyebrows with these squares. And you can also change the pupil position with these squares. There we go. Eyebrow position. Eyebrow position. You can change his eyelids. I do not know why the eyelids are on the bottom, but don't don't question it. Don't ever use this, it's really weird, it makes him look like a reptile or something. His smile, you can change how much he's smiling. Smile rotation, you can't actually touch that, I don't know why. His teeth, how far in they, you can make him look toothless. Um, you can change his teeth, tooth size, make them really big. And he has massive teeth, that's creepy. Uh, you can add, you can disable teeth spacing so that there are no longer these gaps in between his teeth. So if I turn this off, no more gaps. If I turn it on, there you go, more gaps. Okay, change how wide his mouth is. You can change how open his mouth is. 
Oh gosh. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's weird. Um, and and you can add a second layer, but I'll show you how to do that after. To add your skin, just click on double click on char.png. That should be in your um, materials uh, at the bottom when you open up Steve. Go on color, texture, click on the arrow, load image, and then just find your skin. Uh, I will find mine, which is right here, I believe. Okay, here's my skin. No, you can click no to that. And there we are. Except it looks weird because my skin has eyes and mouth. So I'm just gonna take that back to normal. Just for demonstration purposes purposes and so that it doesn't scare anyone because it looks creepy. Um now um I believe that that is all I'm going to show you today. Next episode will be on animating your rig in case you want to make an animation but if not just mess around with his arms and stuff and just move them around put them in a position you can make profile pictures with this put your skin on you can load up uh, if you go back to window content browser and load up the steve no face and you have another steve here with no face and uh, I'll show you how to, I'm going to put my skin on this guy just so you know how to do it. So click on the new chart up PNG that you got when you loaded up this guy. Color, load image, find your skin, double click, click no. And there you go. Wait, that failed. Sorry. Make sure you use this chart PNG, which is this one. So color, load image. Find your skin, no, and there we have it. Untick alpha, looks better. That's if you um, don't have a two layer, uh, a hat on. But if you have a hat, tick alpha, go into color, click on this, drag it into alpha, and place it here. So I'm gonna do that again. Click on color, drag it into alpha and put it here if you have a hat and then what you can do click on your Steve and click second layer now your character should have the hat that you have on your skin and I just duplicated him sorry and um, next time yep yeah, show you animating for now just mess around with all this stuff you know have fun do whatever you like make him look really angry I don't know fun stuff um, any guy, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope it was helpful, because that's kind of the purpose of a tutorial. Um, comment if you have any questions, all the links will be in the description, and uh, ho please subscribe, please, I need it, thank you, um, and I will see you later, goodbye.